Hello friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about how to deal with different uh, date formats in uh, Spark with Scala. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So this is the requirement that we are going to see today friends. This requirement is given by one of our friends. Thank you. Uh, friend for uh, giving us the opportunity to work with uh, one of the very good uh, uh, example uh, in day to day we will be dealing with multiple date formats right in a single csv file we will have multiple date formats so today we will see how to deal with that okay a csv file contains different date types for each column we will see one sample file as well then convert all the date formats to unified format which is year month and date if the format is in month and year then print the last day of the month and also this should this whatever code that we are going to write should be generate and should be able to handle any new column that is being added in the future okay so <coughs> this is the sample data which will have employee id employee name hire date report date and end date okay so if you see here this is like dd mmm yyyy and whereas this report date is in some other date format and end date if you see here it just says june 2021 okay so if the requirement is we have to get all these to the unified format and also if only month and year is given then you should have the last day of the month okay this is the requirement friends hope this is clear to you okay so next let's go to eclipse to to see how we can work on this requirement okay so i have created a <coughs> have created an object and uh, defined the main method created the spark session so now i have the same file okay this is the sample file uh, csv file which we just saw in the ppt so i am reading that as a data frame in spark it has the header so i am mentioning as head header true dot csv okay so if i just to do df dot show if you see the exact whatever already uh, the date of date formats uh, that we have in the input file the same is present here okay so now how to uh, mod modify this uh, like how to modify the date format okay so for this let's uh, because it has e employee id and employee name as well which are like other fields other types is a strings right strings and integers which we don't want to touch we want only the date fields to be modified all right so i am just uh, planning to create one array with all the date columns okay so here i am just taking it here if you want you can have this in a file and you can have it in the uh, another resources folder or a high level some other folder or you can send that file as input to this object so that if there is any new column is going to add then you can just update that file because th now we are going to write the code which will iterate through all the array elements okay some new df i am going to create then i say column name 
so fold left is usually used for performing uh, generic operations on all the columns in a data frame and we have to pass two parameters to that fold left fold left one is the data frame name that is going to create out of this fold left and the column name that on which we wanted to perform the operations so now i'll take new df dot with column and call name so this is let's say this is the column one let's consider because now we have height date as the column one so here i mean um, if you notice uh, and i have uh, made another uh, video on date columns so you can actually go through that about the format and syntax that we have to use so uh, spark actually it gives uh, by default uh, format as yyyy mmdd okay so and also we have to provide the format of the source for getting the uh, for modifying that to any other date format so we have to provide the uh, like source data date format so because of that reason what here about i am going to do here is uh, in this uh, column name i am going to use uh, like when otherwise function i'm going to uh, i'm planning to use because we have to deal with multiple date formats from a single file so here i am going to add when i'm saying that if uh, i mean when is again if only right again so if the to date of df of call name column name now we need to give the format here dd mmm yyyy okay so here just make sure that you give proper ca case for this uh, letters like y and d should be lower case and m should be upper case okay um so why i am using uh, is not null here is if uh, the format is incorrect it will throw null actually you can try it out okay if the format is not correct and uh, just use df dot show and run it you will see null so now i am checking right if it is not null then in that case so i am giving the same thing so here what you have to do is the uh, what you have to give is the um, source format so for the higher date what is the source format that one you have to give so any time in in future if any such format comes it will consider okay we are not hard coding as such as of now i'll show you with example as well so for now yeah this is correct so now similarly the similar when for the second condition i am going to add it here okay so for the second one it is the dd mm yy correct so same thing i am going to change it here as well so it will check when if this is the case then you you uh, use the yyyy mmdd format so if in case if this is not uh, if if it is different and it, it is this condition i mean is, if this is the format then use that and now we need to check for the third format which is this month and year format even for that i'll do the same and we have closed and just say show so now we have to have last day right so here i'm having adding this condition as well so if this is in this format then we have to get the last day of the month so now let me run this code
so if you see here all the date formats have come in unified date format which is yyyy mm dd and for the end date we have given june and july so it has given the last day of the month okay so this is what is expected right in, as per the requirement so not next you might be thinking right uh, uh, what will happen if some other date column comes so let me add that okay some date i am adding it here some date and here i am adding one format okay some this say it is uh, same format and here i will add this for for the same column let's say we are having a different kinds of data instead of 20 i'll say 21 i have saved it and i think we have to refresh it one second and as i said here we need to add so now it's uh, for just for sample i have this array inside the code you can have this outside the code as a file and you can uh, modify at a high level without even touching the code okay so we just have to add the columns in this date columns and if at all any different format is coming then you need to change this when otherwise otherwise no need to change you just have to add the array uh, element the, for, uh, with the new name and you can use the same thing Th i think it's a spelling mistake it should be some date right yeah And if you see here both the dates which is 17th November and 19th October so so even these two formats the newly added formats has been converted to the same so unified format of YYYY MMDD okay uh, hope uh, this is clear and I hope this is what one of our friends asked thank you for watching the video friends please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you